and, and his neighbor was lame. He couldn't walk. He could just maybe stand with crutches, but otherwise he was on bed. And so the neighbor said, hey, would you take me and I want to go to the meeting to listen to this preacher from Canada, which was me. And the man said, I don't believe in God. That's for idiots. That's for stupid people. And so, so he said, please just take me. I want to go. I, I believe. Please take me. So he said, okay, I'll go for you. So he took him and carried him to the meeting. And they were sitting there and the guy was, he was not so interested. But that night when we prayed, Jesus healed the neighbor. Amen. And he got yes, up he and did. said to the neighbor, take my practice. I don't need them. And he was healed like that. And, and, and the man who was not a believer, he said, I began to tremble. He said, I felt like God was speaking to me. And he said, the next day, I received Christ. Amen. And today, that man is a pastor in Bulgaria. Yes, Jesus. Hallelujah. He believed in Jesus. His work is the same. His word is the same. He says, come to me, everyone who is tired. Are you tired? I don't mean physically to go to sleep. I mean, are you tired yes. of your own? So hard. You're working so hard to get blessed. You're working so hard to impress God. Come to me, Jesus, as if you're tired. You're tired of all your religious hard work. Come to me, and I will give you rest. He said, Jesus has come to seek, but not only to seek, to save, to rescue the lost. You know, the word lost is not a bad word. It just means, I don't know where I'm going. I, I, I don't know what, what's the purpose of life. I don't know where I'm, I, I don't have a direction. Jesus says, I come to seek 